Hey guys, this is Mr. Post and welcome to the One Dimensional Kinematics Self-Assessment. The goal of this video is for students to use their learning of One Dimensional Kinematics to answer these application questions. My other goal is that the students would express their answers in the comments section below. And I would hope that other students would reply to comments that were left by other students in addition to leaving their own. If you're truly going to take this assessment, I would recommend pressing pause and looking at all the data that's on the screen and all the information. Consider your comments, write them down on paper, then write them down in the comments section below without perhaps reading anyone else's comments. Ultimately, I would like this to be a student-led discussion on the topic. So this assessment is for students who have completed or in the middle of one-dimensional kinematic motion. The scenario here is that two cars are in a race. Their speed was measured and represented in the data table and the graph below. Now, if you've just come out of one-dimensional kinematic motion, you should be able to, number one, draw some conclusions about the motion that is expressed in the data table and in the graph. And if you can really apply this, you should be able to, number two, identify which car had the greatest displacement at 50 seconds, and not just be able to solve the problem, but to explain your answer. And number three, which car had the greatest displacement at 100 seconds? Once again, solving a problem is great, but to explain how you got your answer, that is even more valuable. So at this point, press pause, look at the data, and please leave a comment down below about your answers. Thank you very much.